Hey, what's up, Integrity fam? We are back with an exciting Hack Academy episode on IDORs. And IDOR is standing for Insecure Direct Object Reference. And let's immediately jump into our lab right now. We're once again having a Portswiggle lab. And we're having a shop application, as you can see over here. And we're going to have a look around first. And What's interesting to know is that the challenge is to log in as a user called Carlos. So we're going to my account and we do see a regular login box, username, password, and we have to get in as Carlos. But how can we achieve that? So we're going back to home and we look around and we do see some light bulb moments, a product. There is a description to it, but that doesn't seem to be really interesting. So we keep on looking around and what we find is a live chat functionality in the top of the page. And if we have a look, we see that we're chatting with hell client. So apparently this is like a robot that we're talking to. So we can just say, hey, hell, how's it going? And we just send it to the application. And we're getting a response saying, sorry, I didn't hear that because I wasn't listening. A little rude, but we keep on communicating saying, please listen to me with a little, a little smiley face. So we want to be super friendly, but the answer is perhaps try and speak more politely and you might get an answer. So not really what we wanted to hear. So yeah, I don't really think that this AI is helpful, but what, we can, what can we learn from all of that? We do see that we just keep using the application and at one point we have enough of it and we are going to say I'm out and we're going to click on view transcript because we've seen that the application functionality so far wasn't really interesting. So we got to try out something different. And if we have a look at Burp Suite, now having, I'm having Burp Suite running in the back. We do see that we can download a transcript which is called 2.txt. And if we do that, we do see that we're getting a response that lists our communication, our conversation that we just had with Helpline. So we could think right now, this is interesting. We are trying to query 2.txt and we're actually getting a response. So what happens if we say, let's just check if we can get another transcript. Let's go with 0.txt. And we're going to send this to the server and in response of a bad request saying there is no transcript. Okay, so we want to enumerate that. Next up, we can say 1.txt. And we're going to send this to the server again. And um, this time we finally see, wait a minute, there is something coming back. This is another chat protocol. So we're going to have a look at this. Hi, hell, I think I've forgotten my password, need confirmation, yada, yada, yada. Apparently, there was a different user who was chatting with this robot and the robot returned saying oh my password oh actually the user was saying my password is this is that correct and he says yes but now we have a password so now we found some interesting information in there and we could just try if this is the password of Carlos so we say username Carlos we fire in that password and we click on login and as all the stars align we do see that this was actually the password of Carlos, and we're now logged in and we've successfully solved the lab. All right, let's reiterate as usual what we've been doing. We were trying to find an IDOR vulnerability. IDOR once again standing for Insecure Direct Object Reference. And if you break this down, this kind of means that you're having an object. In this lab, it was the transcript and there's a reference to it. The reference was 0.txt, 1.txt, 2.txt. And it was insecure in a way that you should usually just see the content that belongs to you. So we were creating 2.txt, but we were seeing that we were also able to access 1.txt. So if you put all this together, we found an insecure direct object reference. All right, I hope this made it a little clearer to you what IDOR vulnerabilities are. They are really interesting and usually come with high impact. And yeah, if you have any further questions, please put them down below in the comment section. 
Um, like this video, subscribe in the top right corner, and I'll see you folks soon.